death in a sinful world. We started a new study last week focused on the big question about death and dying and what hope is there out of this. We looked at the big picture and the origin of evil and its controversy with God. We are now narrowing it down to humanity, looking at how we fell into this. God's love through Jesus was manifested in the creation of our world. An amazing work of beauty and perfection. But Satan's jealousy vowed determination to challenge God and to put his hands on the new creation. He saw an opportunity to prove his case against God by compromising the jewel of the new creation, attacking the great gift of free will. So, right from the beginning, God presented a warning and protection in the new world through the tree of knowledge of good and evil. We didn't have to know what evil is, but as it already existed, it required trust that we don't have to know it. It's very interesting to study the strategy of the serpent when engaging Eve. The same tactic of deception is still very effective and widely used today. The serpent, serpent dropped an innocent statement with seemingly innocent error, mistake, just enough to provoke sincere attempt for clarification and enough to secure engagement. Did God say not to eat from any tree? <laughs> no, he didn't say that. There is only one. And he said that if we eat from it, we'll die. Oh, <laughs> will you, you will not die? Did I die? Actually, God doesn't want you to know what evil is because then you'll be like him. God created us with a desire to know and with a free will. And he gave us all the reasons to trust him. But trust is something we need to choose and develop. Eve tried to reason and made a decision based on her understandings and what looked good and reasonable to her. So... She got a good taste of evil. And here comes the big issue with that. They didn't immediately die, but they got a death sentence as their choice to break with God, to break with the source of life, meant only one thing, degradation and death. But the big lie and deception that they will not die continues through the ages and through human philosophies and religions to spread and deceive people into believing in the immortality of the soul. Adam and Eve weren't ready for what they were about to discover, to learn and to know with the decision that they made. They experienced fear, shame, then sweat, pain and eventually death taking along in this journey everything that was entrusted into their leadership and care, our human world. But here is the thing. God then and there made a promise that brought hope and future in this dark moment. He said that there will be enmity between humanity and Satan. <laughs> even though we fell, even though our choice broke the relationship with God and sin took over our nature, God claimed us and didn't let us go without providing a way for a second chance. This enmity is God's grace in us. This enmity makes, makes us to see that sin, darkness, pain are not natural to us. We were not created for that and it provokes us to search offers us a chance to make a personal decision. Right there and then, God prophesied about Jesus' sacrifice and his victory over Satan, <laughs> death and sin. So, how can I summarize this lesson in one tweet? Hashtag lesson in one. Humanity made a choice to learn what evil is. With our free will, we were deceived to doubt God's warning and to believe that we will never die. Yet, God implanted His grace in us and secured a way. Next week, we will continue this study with reflections on understanding human nature. <laughs>